Welcome, I'm Abby Taylor, and I'm very pleased to present an exhibition of works by the French painter André Cotevaz. These works come from one private collection, that of the gentleman seen to my right here, whose name was Mark Rosenhaft. He was both a patron and a friend to the artist. What is particularly striking about these works is the very heavy empastic use of paint in the canvases, which is achieved by the use of both a palette knife and a brush. What is particularly interesting about the surfaces up close is they seem to be have almost chaotic brushwork. But as you step back, a more the subject matter is revealed in a more expressive manner. When asked, it has been noted that Andre Cotevaz has said that one of his great objectives is that of finding the light in his canvases. However, we maintain through viewing this exhibition that it is the unusual surfaces in Cotevaz's work that takes what is normally mundane subject matter and excites and provokes the eye. Thus, we have titled the exhibition Deep in Paint. To put Code of Oz into some historical perspective, it is important to note that most of the works in this show were painted in the 1950s, with a few works sprinkled in from the 1960s to 1970. Code of Oz's unusual technique and style seems to be an offshoot from the earlier work of the great master, Haim Soutine, who was known for his highly psychological and expressive portraits and still lifes. It was noted at that time that the seeds of abstract expressionism could be found in Soutine's work, and in the 1950s, this movement was exploding in its own forms throughout America and Europe. Code of Oz never abandoned subject matter in his work, even though his canvases are highly abstracted. He belonged to what was known as the Leon School of New Figuration, a group of artists whose cohesive bond was a search for strong light in their works with no allegiance to a particular technique. While works by Haim Soutine command prices in the many hundreds of thousands, Code of Oz's canvases in this exhibition range from $800 to $5,000 for small works and $15,000 to $35,000 for larger sizes. Code of Oz is still alive, but his work is doing amazingly well at auction and in the secondary market as well, achieving prices in the same range as we have them in this show. This sort of liveliness in the secondary market is proof that his work has strong merit and interest. And of particular note, his works are collected in places as far reaching as Japan. Code of Oz's art evokes an immediate response from viewers. We feel this exhibition is a great opportunity for our clients to purchase works that exude character, fun, and liveliness. While he fits into a historical perspective and movement, has a great track record at auction, we feel he is an artist you buy simply for their strong visual impact and joy that they impart. All the works in the exhibition can be found on our website. You can email us or call us to request high resolution images, prices, and the biographical information for this artist. The exhibition will be running through February 28th of this month. We have complemented the works by Code of Oz with some additional pieces from Mr. Rosenhaft's collection that are by Pinchas Marianne, such as the commanding work in front of us entitled L'Oiseau, dated, dated 1953, as well, works from our inventory that represent a further step into abstraction by such artists as Georges Noel, Jacques Doucet, the great Jean-Michel Atlan, and one of our new favorites, the Dutch painter Geer van Velde.